Hi everybody, it's Eva and welcome to my channel Revit Plus. I'm so happy that you decided to join us and learn more about Revit through our tutorials, tips and tricks. Okay, so this is a really quick video about how can you make sketches in Revit model uh, um, very quickly. Okay, so um, Yes, I decided to do this video because my co-workers, they were asking me, oh Eva, how can we do uh, really a sketch, uh, a sketches on Revit model? Uh, because right now we have a lot, a lot of projects that are in concept design phase and we really, we need to produce a really quickly a sketches and uh, to provide to our clients. And obviously uh, we don't have too much time. We, we can sometimes we have to do these kind of things in one hour or less it's just it's something really quick something that is more like an expressive uh, thing rather than to you know start uh, 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 applying hours to something that maybe is not going to go further in the line so okay so let's start that so for example first uh, thing first we have to go to uh, our uh, plan view and create our um, camera uh, view so we are going to 3D view and then we are going to click in camera and we are going to position our camera wherever we want to do our 3D view. Okay, so let's say, so now I have the number number 8 camera view. We are going to just cut a little bit and then if you want to make uh, the view bigger, I'm going to show you how to, you can size uh, crop. We are going to click in size crop here and if you want to make it bigger, we can just uh, lock proportions and then here for example when we have the width which is 150 we can say for example 300 and say apply and say okay so this is when you are going to put this in uh, in a sheet uh, template or in a, sorry in a sheet um, um, page it is going to look double size that we have now okay so uh, when we have all the views ready so now we are going to go to our first view and this is what we are going to uh, do. So first we are going to click here in, uh, in this little cube and then click here and we are going to click in graphic display options. And then here we are going to say, I'll okay, I tried all these styles and the one that I like is realistic, but you can try all the others and feel free to, to choose the, be the, the best that can suit your requirements. So we are going to click in re realistic and then we are going to click in smooth lines and then in silhouette we are going to say medium lines and in shadows we are going to click in bold okay and then we are going to click in sketchy lines we are going to enable and we are going to click number two next number 10 okay and then we're going to click in lighting lighting is going to be number eight eight sorry 80 number 60 and number 40 okay and now we are going to go to background in background we're going to click in image and we are going to select and select an image. So for now, I just I did all a lot of a lot of images. I'm going to click the number nine image for me, and say open. Okay, so I created this, and then we are going to say in okay. And and sorry, when when we click in images, we have to uh, leave it um, as a stretch. Okay, so let's say okay, and now we are going to save this as a template, save as view template, and we are going to say, for example, uh, 3D, 3D camera, 3D camera, space, and sketches uh, view. Oops, sorry, sketches view. Okay, let's say okay. Okay, so now let's say okay again, and apply to our view and say okay okay so this is the first image that we have uh, with uh, sketchy lines okay let's go to the next we are going to apply our template because already we created our template template so we oh sorry we have to go a little further so here view template we are going to say 3d camera 
sketches view, apply, ok. Ok, so that's the next. Next, we are going to uh, template again, okay, view template. Um, click in 3D camera sketches. So that's the next. Okay, so this is our next. Next, now we have an interior view. So again, we're going to apply the same um, template. So let's say this one, apply and is okay is thinking okay next we are going to number five which is is another interior view so 3d sketches view apply okay um so here it's nice because when we have a, a glass it, it just it shows like a very transparent and so you can see in, in the background is that is the background that we did it we added to our view okay so now we have an exterior view let's say again sketches okay so yeah so this is uh, next so next we are going to do here and the same thing just um, camera sketches apply and okay and here for example yeah we have a lot of um, we are cutting the terrain so maybe we can just yes uh, we can just create a hatch to cover uh, this part here yes that's fine okay so next here we just go to view template and apply our template camera view apply okay and okay so i think we have eight sketches um sketches that we can show to our client and in a very fast way and yeah and it, i think it does the work and I will show you as well really quick how can you just uh, create this background with the trees so for example you can go to Canva and in Canva this is the the, um, the prompt that you have to uh, write down for example in my case I did architectural background trees London Green Park or you can say New York um, yes um, so, um, how is the Central Park? Uh, sunny day, clean skies, that's it. And then it will start uh, giving you to all these images. And then we can just try with these images, put in your background in Revit model, save first, save these images, and then just and add these to our Revit model. Let's create a little bit more. Uh, create a game. What I did, I didn't use any filter. I could use a watercolor, maybe. And so far, but just in this case, I just I gave it like a really by default. And as well, the yes, something that is important just uh, when you uh, when you click in the format, the format it has to be landscape, because in this way we need we need images that they are landscaping. So that's the best way that for our Revit model, it will catch up. It will catch up the best image and the best angles, and it will be more um, uh, merge with our uh, 3D render. Okay, so that's that are not too bad. So just you can save it after, and then just uh, insert in your Revit model, and then just create these amazing sketches for your clients okay i hope you like uh, this video and if you like please click and like and subscribe and i see you in our next video bye for now